All right, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is, wherever in the world it is that you are. Welcome once more to another live stream of Cooking with Chat, hosted by yours truly, Alex Mayers, Alexandra Mayers, whatever it is that you want to call me. So um, we are getting started a little bit earlier than normal today, and um, mainly because I logged out of work early and I'm hungry and um, I feel like cooking something. So today we are going to make something called an Alexandra Nara sandwich. What is an Alexandra Nara sandwich? It's a sandwich that you make when you have some leftovers, especially leftover chicken. And um, you live in an area where you have a Jones in for some Quiznos, but there is not a Quiznos in sight. And you just say to yourself, gosh, I really want to have a chicken carbonara sandwich. Whenever you have that kind of a feeling, you say to yourself, all right, I'm going to make an Alexandra Nara sandwich. So that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> um, yeah, we are in a different location, aren't we? Those of you who out there who are observant, yes, we are in a different location. And as cooking with chat progresses, you're going to see me in quite a few different locations. Yes, you will, because really that's what Cooking with Chat is all about. Cooking with Chat is just about me as I'm traversing my life's journey. And when I'm bored and I'm feeling a little lonely because I don't have a date and I feel like cooking something, I'm letting y'all come into the kitchen wherever it is in the world with me. That's what Cooking with Chat is. So, uh, yeah, we're going to make an Alexandra Nara sandwich. We're going to go ahead and wait for some people to come into the chat room. I do ask that all of you conduct yourselves civilly with some uh, class. If you can't, I got to boot you out of the chat. But, you know, I'll try to keep it kind of free flowing. But another thing that cooking with chat is going to be about with time is going to be about good wine. Not necessarily the most expensive wine either, but just good wine to go with some good food. Today, I'm going to be cracking open a bottle of Riesling from the Barefoot Collection. Very inexpensive wine, but very delicious. Extremely so. And um, I like to have a little bit of wine or beer or something like that before I get started cooking. What's the palate? Gets your tummy ready for something yummy. Gets me in a good mood, especially after I've had a long day working. And I enjoy all kinds of wines. All kinds. So I do want to let all of you know, I did a giant mass on Dan again. So some of you will have another chance to come in here. I'm really not so... Um, open today to discussing anything overly controversial not at all and uh, i might not be any other days either it depends on my mood but like i said conduct yourself with some class don't be confrontational in here this is my time that i choose to share with you so let's see what's going on in the chat hello bob how are you doing bob pagan's in the house Hello, Fitness Frank. Good to see you. Hello, Star Maker 7. Nice to see you too. Uh, YouTube is PooTube. <laughs> um, you know what? I would prefer you not even mention him. I've moved on. I've actually been very disappointed to hear that he has continued to trash talk me after I have moved on from the situation. And, um, you know, I, I mean, really what it comes down to is that he doesn't have anything else to talk about. But, you know, once somebody tells me, no, I don't want anything to do with you, I'm rejecting you, you don't have to tell me twice. Mm -mm. And that's over and done with, and I wish him the best in whatever it is that he chooses to do in his life. Um, he does have an interesting backstory. Very interesting. You can always find that over on the IP2 Wiki News, or I'm sorry, IP2 Wiki Info YouTube channel. You can always check that out. But, um, 
you know, it is what it is. Where are we cooking today? We're just going to make a simple sandwich, but it's going to be fancy. It's going to be a very fancy, fancy, schmancy sandwich. But first, we're going to enjoy some wine, get reacquainted. I haven't been on here in a little bit. Cheers, everybody. And hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Sis. Hope y'all are doing all right. But yeah, it's nice to be in fresh surroundings, especially after a little bit of um, an emotional daily that I contended with. But gosh, oh, what do I want to talk about? Well, I did a really cool additional interview yesterday. I say additional because I was only planning on doing like one major interview this year, and that was with the illustrious Miss Parker. You can check that out on her channel, MRZ Parker. But um, a really nice young gentleman who runs a podcast called Outcast Owls took the time to speak with me yesterday toward the morning hours. And I had such a fun time talking to him. So if you want to check out that interview, you can go over to the um, Outcast Owls 2 channel. And you can see that. He actually wants to do um, some sort of a cooking stream cook-off with me at some point in the future. So I'm looking forward to that. I think that'll be a really fun time. Oh, I'm glad they relax you, LRJ. I'm glad. Well, that's the point. They relax me. I'm very comfortable in the kitchen, surprisingly so. I didn't always used to be. Not at all. Um, in my youth. You would never catch me in the kitchen. <laughs> but, you know, I, I don't know. Now that I'm in my mid-40s and whatnot, I'm just really enjoying the art of cooking. It's a fun thing to do. I love putting things together. I'm naturally an artist. I'm always putting stuff together. So, you know, cooking's just another medium for me. That's all it is. And that's all it is. But yeah, I have a few things on the horizon coming up. Um, I'm not going to say who, but a friend of mine from the adult biz, she reached out the other day and we're going to probably do a project or two together. And what else is going on? I still got to finish that painting. I still got to finish that one painting I started. And um, I am going to follow through with my idea for another painting to where it's kind of a portrait to where one side's a wolf and one side of the streamer. But instead of the streamer that I initially said that I was going to use as my inspiration, I'm going to use um, a streamer who, I, I, for the most part, he's retired, but I really liked his face. He had a very handsome face, an IRL streamer known as uh, Barefoot Iguana. He has a very sexy sort of face that also translates to a bit of a wolf theme. He even has like a streak in his hair. So that painting's probably going to be a bit based on his face instead. It won't be him exactly. I want to make the character skin a bit darker than what he is. So that'll be interesting. All right, let's see, let's see what LRJ has to say. All right, LRJ says, and just to clear the air, I don't always agree with your viewpoints or opinions. Nothing's wrong with that. But as a person, I don't think you're a bad person at all. Thank you. I'm not. People hate me for supporting John, and I'm sure people will. I don't care at this point. You've never disrespected me, so I see you as what you show me. Well, that's sweet, LRJ. That's nice. I'm sorry that your initial impression of me or my opinions maybe wasn't the most positive, but you know, that's why people stream so that people can get to know one another. But um, with John, I love John. You know that about me. You see me in his chat. He has a great face too when I think about it. I really enjoy looking at his face. Maybe I'll do a painting based on him at some point. But no, John right now, um, and everyone make sure that you do subscribe to his channel. Um, John Smith. 
And if you cannot find it on YouTube, just via a search, being that is such a common name, you can go over to IRLnewstime.com and you will see his banner over on the right side of the website. But yeah, John Smith, he's the hot ticket right now when it comes to the IRL podcast. I mean, just the other night, I popped in just to see who all was in there, and there were so many streamers in there. I was like, what? What kind of party's going on over here? You know, he had desktop guys. He had some guys on there that were out and about, walking around, doing IRL live on through his podcast. So uh, make sure you all check him out. Make sure you subscribe. He's one of my favorite podcast hosts, most definitely. He's very easy on the eyes. He has a very handsome face. Oh, it's all right, LRJ. You know, I'm a, I'm a very polarizing figure. Okay, I've been around on the internet for an extremely long time, okay? And um, it's kind of become like an in vogue thing to hate on me in order to gain clout. There's a lot of newer streamers, be they young or old, a lot of people who just simply are not that bright and don't know how to garner positive publicity or attention for themselves in any other way than to create needless drama and to trash talk somebody needlessly, tell lies, all kinds of stuff with nothing to back it up. And it does open you up to lawsuits when you do that kind of crap. But, um, you know, I've been around a long time. I do enjoy a certain level of fame and attention. And some people, they're lazy. They can't go outside and do things on their own. They've not had a professional background or that I've had or the attention I've received when I worked in the adult entertainment industry. So instead of actually getting out there, working hard and doing something of note to gain the kind of publicity that I attract, they just want to piggyback or ride on my coattails. And they do so in a negative way. And, you know, I'm a human. Sometimes it hurts, but I've developed thick skin over the years. And it's just to the point right now to where I feel like, all right, that's what you got to do. Karma's going to bite you in the butt. I mean, we all saw what happened to that one girl, Crystal Ann, when she threatened to physically assault me. Not even 48 hours later, some unseen force... <laughs> <laughs> knocked the shit out of her when she was trying to ride a scooter. Yeah. So you got to be careful how you treat people because, you know, you can make your threats, you can do whatever it is that you want to do, and I'm not going to have to do much of anything. Life's funny. You know? So anyway. So anyway. I just invite people to, you know, visit me in the kitchen every once in a while, watch me cook, get to know me, we can talk about whatever, be it the weather, news, um, politics, I, I really enjoy talking about politics, or uh, food, wine, travel. I'm resting right now, but this summer I'm going to be doing some traveling again. I'm excited about it, definitely. All right, so I'm going to go take a step out onto the patio, have a little city, then come back and we can get started on some food. It's just going to be a simple sandwich, but I want to make a really tasty, flavorful carbonara sauce. Definitely. They'll be based on a fettuccine sauce. I'll throw in some garlic, some onion, maybe a little bit of jalapeno pepper. What else could I put in? I have some um, partially baked chicken from last night. I didn't bake it completely. At least half of it I didn't because I knew I was going to be making the sandwich. So it's um encrusted in breadcrumbs so that's going to be you know the chicken part of it and um it's not really gonna well i guess it's going to be a sandwich but i'm going to be eating it utilizing a flatbread 
So it's going to be tasty. I wish I could share it with all of you. I, I truly do. So I'll be back. I'll be right back. It's a little cold where I am. I'll put a jacket on. All right, folks, I don't want to start. All right, everybody, so we are going to get started cooking. And let's see. Well, you're somebody who, well, I'm not going to block you just like yet. Let's see what you say. Let's see what you do. And I hope all of you are having a great day today. So again, we are going to make an Alexandra Nara sandwich. So let's go ahead and activate the cooking cam first. We use this little nifty thing, Jay. Let's pan over. Let's see how we're going to do this. Cooking cam. Add. All right, it's working. 
There we go. That way y'all can see me. And we can cook at the same time. <laughs> Just go ahead and put the little chat thing, chat tablet over here. <laughs> and to whoever's trolling me when it comes to the individual who I've moved on from, you know how that goes. Sometimes it's better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. But we're not going to discuss him in here because we don't want, you know, anyone to feel uncomfortable or anything along those lines. Cheers. So let's see. First, we need a knife. I just picked up some new cooking utensils. Where I am right now, I had to go. Usually, I like going over to Target. Target is one of my favorite places. But I didn't realize that Walmart actually has so many um, good cooking utensils, too. Ooh, I might plug this in. But they most definitely do. So, yeah, this chicken, when I baked some chicken last night, I didn't completely bake this half of the chicken breast because I knew I was going to be uh, putting it in a bit of a stir fry for this sandwich today. So we're just going to slice it a little bit. And I think I half baked it just right because it's still a little pink inside because, you know, you don't want it to be too overdone. And you have to add some additional heat to it. Not at all. Someone saying I need medication. Well, I mean, if you consider cannabis a medication, some people do. Now, where I currently am residing, it's not legal. I, I, it might be for people who have a medical card, but I don't, I don't think it is. And that's not me. So, but I would love to live somewhere where cannabis is legal because I'm not somebody who. Uh, needs it not at all but it is something that's enjoyable especially when you are making a delicious meal hopefully they'll make it legal nationwide at some point here in the united states hopefully but if not you know whatever whatever and if that is the real individual who i've moved on from you know i don't think the worst of you but you know we've had our times and i think it's just better that we just not communicate anymore i will miss you greatly but you know, there's so many women out there who I'm sure will be right for you. And really, I couldn't just be your friend. I wish it could be otherwise, but once those feelings are there. Mm. So anyway, we've cut that up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and just transfer that back over to this little plate. I'm a little bit OCD with the cooking, just a bit. I like to be neat and tidy. That's just me. Drive some of my family members insane. <laughs> All right. So what else are we going to put on put in here? Well, I do want to um, put some red onion. I hadn't realized how tasty red onion is until recently. What did I make with red onion the other day? It was something, something with mushrooms. It was so good. So I picked up a red onion. I'm going to go ahead and peel it and look at the chat. I washed my hands earlier. I have little contact physically with people. I'm fine. I'm single, alone. There's no germs over here. 
Text me on that. Actually, you know what? Speaking of um, me being single, I was thinking about reactivating my dating profile the other day. I actually put out a tweet about that. I was thinking to myself, oh, you know what? Maybe I need to jump back on um, Plenty of Fish or Tinder or something, right? And I came across this news story. Have you guys heard about the Lauren Smith Fields situation? <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. It creeped me out. Oh my God. I want, you know, every woman in here, let's talk about. Let's talk about the Lauren Smith field situation. Let me look at the chat a little bit. Okay, we got it. Okay, you, you don't get to be in here. You, you got to go somewhere. We'll put you on timeout for now. Timeout, timeout. You're all weird. But yeah, Lauren Smith field, she was a beautiful African American young woman model beautiful she reminded me of myself actually when i was young i was looking at her and um i was like oh my god that was me in my 20s yeah apparently she um arranged a date through one of the dating apps i think it was bumble she met up with this dude and allegedly he uh hurt her murdered her she whatever happened she's dead now and the police in her area really didn't follow up or do much when it came to um, what happened. And there was another woman, too, who happened to be African-American that uh, was found killed also. So there's something going on with the police force in that particular area. The overwhelming theme is that it was an interracial matchup when it came to the dating it was a uh, white dude that last saw her and it just made me think and i and i mean it maybe it doesn't have anything to do with race who knows what was going on but i'll tell you um a lot of people interracial date nowadays and a, a lot of black women i mean they're, they're <laughs> Everyone thinks that there's like so many African Americans in the United States and there really are not, not at all. But um, people are theorizing that the reason that the death wasn't investigated as it could have been or should have been had to do with her ethnicity versus the ethnicity of the individual that she met up with for the date. And it just kind of made it, it, I had like a flash in my mind. I was like, oh my God, I, I just think about different times that I've dated people and things that could have happened because, you know, at the time I might not have been in communication with my family or, you know, various friends or whatnot. And I just think about how easy it would have been for, you, you know, someone to just do away with me. So. I mean, in the time of this pandemic and whatnot, I'm really not sure how I'm going to go about, you know, trying to match myself up with somebody. But, you know, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ. And I feel like whoever's meant to come my way will. Or maybe I'll just be single forever. I don't know. But women, if you choose to go the online dating app route, Please be careful. Let people know where you're going to be. I had a couple of my girlfriends reach out to me via Twitter in regards to my concerns when it comes to um, what I'm talking about today. You know, a new friend of mine known as um, Genesis. Genesis, she's lovely. Um, she was saying, you know, you, you can still meet good people through the dating apps and whatnot. And I totally concur with her. I think that she's right. You, you can, but it's just so scary. I mean, I would have thought by now at the age that I am 43, that uh, 
I would have met somebody by now and then I wouldn't be, you know, starting back at ground zero trying to date. But so I got to figure something out. I don't know why my um, father was suggesting that, you know, maybe I take some cooking classes, you know, find somebody who has a similar passion to myself. And I think that's a wonderful idea. I think so. So maybe that's what I'll have to do. But I'd rather meet somebody organically in person. Let me toss this out real quick. Then, um, you know, through the dating sites, because so many people on the dating sites are just not who they present themselves as being. And I'm very honest whenever it comes to, you know, meeting somebody new. I'm honest about my background because I know that I'm not for everybody. I've had a very interesting life, a lifestyle that I know doesn't concur, or not concur, but that just doesn't go with how a lot of people feel about what's right versus what's wrong. So I'm going to have a little bit of a interesting time i'm sure but we'll see what happens so let's go ahead and look at the chat while i'm getting ready to get into this garlic because i do want to put garlic in this let's see Ooh, randy hey welcome back randy good to see you good to see you again randy says i had some scary tinder stories enough to make me delete it and lose hope for humanity oh <laughs> i bet you did i bet you did mm. i've had some interesting dating app experiences myself i'm not going to go so much into that today maybe the next cooking with chat we can talk about alexander's dating app horror stories because there have been a few there i have had a few without a doubt <laughs> yeah gucci's if that's the real gucci's how are you doing girl if it's not the real gucci's i'm a gucci's fan i really like that girl she's interesting all right, Scrubs is asking, does this make me an incel now? Oh, I don't think so. I'm definitely capable of having relationships. I've had some really cool relationships. I mean, obviously, none of them worked out in the long term, hence me being single today. But uh, I've had some, I've had some relationships. I've had some interesting love stories. Without a doubt. But no, I would say not in the least am I an incel. No, no. I always have hope. All right, we'll show this. Lux. Lux likes Lenny from Motorhead's take on interracial relationships. Okay. Well, I did do a mass on band, Randy. I did. You know what, Randy? I'm going to make you a mod because you've been in here before. I like your personality. I think you have good judgment. You know, time out first before you ban. I'm trying to be a little bit more, you know, open to some of the trolls. But, you know, if it's like super trolls. Um, Q45, let, again, let's not mention that person anymore because I've unsubscribed and, you know, have a little respect. Let me move on. Let me move on. You know, I don't know what kind of person you are, Q45, or what your life is like or anything. But be kind to me, please. Be kind. Grub says, imagine needing to date. You don't need to date? What do you do? Get married right out of high school or something? Are you a rock star to where the women just throw themselves at you? Is that what your situation is? <laughs> 
Maybe. Who knows who you are? I have an interesting mix of people who watch me. It's not about having trouble getting a date. It's more about me being very selective. Very, very selective. Okay, now the tedious task of chopping up this garlic. So I think it's time for some more wine. What do you guys think? I think so. Yeah. I love racing. Cheers. And you're right, Randy, I do have high standards. I have almost impossible standards, <laughs> which is okay. But, you know, like I said, I mean, I've gone through phases to where I had almost no standards. And did that work out? No, it didn't. Not at all. I'm actually really enjoying this particular time of my life. I love being in my mid forties. I really do. I feel like my mentality, my mindset, my spirit has finally caught up with my physicality. You know, I like being in my forties. I like how people regard you when you're in your forties too. You know, because you're not a young girl anymore. You're not like, ah, I'm a teen. I'm in my twenties. <laughs> you know, you're not a silly little girl anymore. You're a woman. You're a woman. And I love being a woman. Nice. Where can I put this chat to where I don't have to like strain my neck? Over here. Q45, why are you in here? I'm only going to ask you once. Why are you in here, Q45? Because you seem to have an extreme disdain for me. For some reason, you don't have anything to do at this moment to where you're here. Chill out. Chill just a little bit. Chill. Relax. Relax. Chocolate cougar? Yeah. I am a chocolate cougar. Or a chocolate panther. I like them. <laughs> Alright, let's see what your message is. Relax. Chocolate milk? Yeah. You know, it's so funny. When I was in the adult industry, when I was in my 20s, I was cast as a MILF. I wasn't any MILF then. I'm a MILF now. Now I'm a MILF. Now, not then. <laughs> yeah. I love this little nifty thing. I was going to use a tripod for this other cam, you know, but I have this little arm thing to jig. It's very, very convenient. Very convenient. <sighs> so, yeah, us women in our 40s, no matter what your ethnic background is, that doesn't matter. It's just fun to be a woman in your 40s. Because for the most part, you know, especially if you're a single woman in your 40s, you really know what life is. You know how to maneuver in the world. But getting back to the uh, Lauren Smith-Fields situation, um, again, I do want to say, if you're a young woman... Please be careful on the dating websites. Please, 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 please. 
especially in the midst of this pandemic, because, um, you, you know, you don't want your death to be written off as something that it wasn't. And, um, you know, since the pandemic has begun, domestic violence situations have gone up. The rate of that happening has gone up. So be careful, please. We're living in a time to where a lot of men really don't know how to conduct themselves properly. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's evolution. I don't know if it's the inundation of images in the media of women that are not entirely accurate. I don't know. But women, please be careful, especially if you're young. Q45 says they have literally 570 accounts. That's not healthy. <laughs> oh, that's so unhealthy. Oh my God. You're saying I need medication? <laughs> that's beyond trolling, man. That's a sickness. Oh my God. Oh my God, that many accounts? Shit. All right, I'm gonna have to plug in my cooking cam. Just give me a moment, I gotta find a plug for it. You're going to have some wires. It's going to be a little cumbersome, but that's okay. That way the cooking cam doesn't go down. Cooking cam is important. All right. Exactly. Exactly. Let me um, put that, put what you just said up on the screen, Randy. There we go. That's very good advice. Extremely so. You got this, Randy. I don't have to oversee your moderation. You know what you're doing. I can tell. I can tell. But yeah. Um, this trolling that people are doing. I mean, I hope it's lucrative for some of you as much as you engage in it. I really do. Yeah, Google a person, you know, in the past, I used to get upset. I'm like, oh my God, people have doxxed me, people have said all this stuff about me. I think it's easy to decipher what's fact versus fiction, but I'm glad I'm researchable. I don't mind people who I first meet being able to look up a tremendous amount of information about me because, you know, that way they can see what kind of person I am. A lot of people, you cannot see who they are. I'd rather be somebody who has a documented kind of questionable history to where you know it's at least not lethal or dangerous or, you, you know, something like that than somebody with nothing at all. You know, I, I guess that's going to end up being like one of the great dividing lines within our society when it comes to who pairs up with who. All right, so here we are. Garlic is always a little sticky too. Oops. I love this new one.
you know, Q45 is getting a little out of hand. They're getting a little out of hand. But yeah, getting back to um, how men perceive a lot of women, um, I do, I, I do in part blame a lot of the online media as far as how women are portrayed and what's portrayed as to what women like. I mean, a lot of women, you, you know, it depends on what phase it is they are in life, of course, and what they're up to, what kind of money they're trying to make, and everything. Some women do feed into a lot of very negative stereotypes and dangerous stereotypes in regards to um, what women want, to what women need, what women are looking for. And, you, you know, I think about my time in the adult entertainment industry, and without a doubt, I fed into some of that. I hate myself for it, really. I always did try to keep a certain level of realness, though, about me, which did garner a certain reputation that I developed as being um, not so easy to deal with. <laughs> and that reputation is still pretty much intact. Yes, it is. I'm not easy to deal with, but, you know, at least I am as I am. Because I feel like I bring a lot to the table, too, you know? Sometimes when you bring a lot to the table, you're not so easy to deal with. I mean, shit. You know, not to be vain, but when I really think about it, let's see, what do I bring to the table? Good conversation. The arts. You know, whoever I end up with, they're going to have a beautiful home, considering how artistic I am and whatnot. Um... I'm in fairly good physical shape. I'm athletic. You know, especially at this point in my life, high sex drive. <laughs> Major bonus. Um, I enjoy cooking. Not going to be hungry. <laughs> what else? Uh, I'm very technically inclined. Extremely so. So you don't have to worry about needing to call tech support. Let's see, what else? Um, I'm not boring. I'm always getting into something new. I guess if you want somebody boring who's always the same, you know, who never evolves or changes, I am not the woman for you. No. But if you want to walk on the wild side a little bit, but still want to be monogamous, hey, I'm your girl. Okay. All right, we got some garlic chopped up. Do I want to use all of it? Nah. So I'm thinking about cooking some shrimp, too. I have some shrimp in the freezer. <laughs> I'm thinking about maybe it'll be a separate stream. We can't do everything at once. Oh, Booty Cream Cheese is in here. Awesome. How are you doing, Miss Cream Cheese? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. We're just enjoying some wine, cooking an Alexandra Nara sandwich, and uh, chilling, talking. I don't know how long this stream's going to go, but we're here. We're hanging out. So yeah, we're gonna save some of this garlic for later because I did chop up quite a bit of it. Yeah. Save about half for later. That look like half to you? Just to me.
All right, chat mods. As far as Q45 is concerned, time out at will. Don't ban. Just time out. I think he's going to tire his little self out. He probably needs a nap. <laughs> he needs a nap. All right, so the base of this sauce, I'm just going to use this garlic Alfredo from Bajoli. Woo! I can already smell some of this onion. All right, garlic Alfredo. Here, I'll put it here so I can see it better. Yes. We're going to cut up some of this jalapeno. Mm -hmm. Oh, that garlic opened my sinuses just cutting it up. Wow. So the onion. Thank you, Sharon. So yeah, we're just gonna cut up a little bit of this jalapeno. Delicious. Oh, this is gonna be good. But yeah, everyone, like I was saying, make sure you subscribe to the um, Outcast Owls. I really like the host of that show. He was very nice. I really enjoy getting to know him a little bit. He was very, very nice. And that's an interesting concept that a lot of these uh, recappers are doing with the streamers. I like what they're doing. When they do it professionally, I like it. He does it pretty professionally. Oh, thank you for reminding people about that. Yeah, I do have my little donation stuff set up. It's not required or anything. I'm not going to be like, give me demos or else. No. no. But I feel like everybody else has it, so I do too. I do too. But this year, there are going to be quite a few products that I offer. Because I'd rather give something to get something instead of just receiving. I, I like having that energetic balance. All right, so with this jalapeno, what we're doing is we're just, you know, coring it out a little bit. There. Well, I can see. We're just going to slice it up. That's all we're doing. Slicing it up. Oh, that is so not true, Q45, and really you sound like such an idiot referring to someone with the extensive criminal history of the individual that you're referring to. I mean, if you knew the criminal history of this person, 
Oh, but I'll let you keep acting stupid. I actually do like having a little bit of a record of who's in the chat should certain events transpire. Just do your research, people, when it comes to who I've had to contend with in my life. I've had to be a little bit of a little hit girl for some reason. Sometimes it takes entities outside of law enforcement to get certain things done. But we'll just leave it at that. Okay. So we have a little jalapeno. That's going to be good. Okay, I'm probably going to be able to make two sandwiches with all this. Let me think about it. Q45 is actually hyping me up. Q45, if I was so bad, why am I not in prison? Hmm? Why is there zero criminal record when it comes to Alexandra Melody Mayers? Why am I so middle-aged, black, and fabulous? With not a scar to be seen. Hmm? Why is that if I'm such a monster? Why would that be? Now we're going to cut up some bacon. Why would it be? Millions of people are sued. All my lawsuits are closed. What about yours? In fact, Q45, what is your name? Why are you hiding behind the alias? I'm sorry, 517 aliases by your own admission. Why? I mean, if you're so certain about everything that you're saying, wouldn't you show your face, have your legal name up there, like there's truly? Why are you hiding in the darkness, in the shadows? I'd have to say it's because it's you're just not sure about what you're saying. That's the only conclusion I can come to. But troll away with your 516 now aliases. Okay. I mean, the way you're talking me up, I mean, I kind of got, I kind of feel like some sort of a super, a super villain, but with a tragic backstory who's decided to go from doing wrong to doing right. It's interesting. Oh, I'm sorry that you're dealing with COVID. Randy. Very sorry about that. All right, so now we're just going to cut up some bacon and we're going to put it in like this little stir fry mixture that we're making. So that's going to be so good. I think the list for streamer parents is about complete. I don't think there's going to be any additions. There might be subtractions. Yes, subtractions, but not additions. Not additions. You know, it's been interesting to me when it comes to uh, the IP2 linked IRL community. How it's been interesting how emboldened certain people have been to feel that they can tell me 
how to conduct myself or how to run my websites. Like there's some sort of unseen chain of command. I'm a lone wolf. There's no chain of command over here. Better get with the times. Fitness Frank gets it. Well, I'll tell you, Randy, the truth is that I have no criminal history because I'm not a criminal. The truth is that I've never threatened the things that whoever Q45 is is claiming that I've threatened. I would never hurt a pregnant woman, get real. Basically, when it comes to the individual who they're referring to, he was an international extortionist. Still is. Current lawsuits are in place against him. Part of why he has a problem matriculating in normal society does have to do with me having kept track with his activities over the years. And that will never change. That could be him behind that Q45. There's no way to tell. There's no way to know. But who cares? The fact of the matter is that this particular individual nowadays has a multitude of children that he needs to put his entire being and focus upon rather than focusing upon me, a woman who he has never met in person, ever. And we are leaving fat on this weekend. Mm, it's going to be good. <laughs> it's going to be great. Yes, yeah, Streamer Parents is a very special project. It's going to be something that works in conjunction with another project that is yet to launch. That is linked to a website which hasn't launched yet, known as Carterverse.info. So it's going to be an interesting 2022. Very interesting 2022. Randy, I wouldn't even entertain that person. I wouldn't entertain them. I wouldn't bother with it. You know that you're right in my eyes. All right, now we're going to get into this cheese. We're just going to add a little bit of mozzarella cheese to the mixture. Just because I love cheese. Cheese is great. I am lactose intolerant, though. I shouldn't be having any cheese. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. But I am. Because if I fart, there's no one here to smell it but me. That was a little gross. Sorry. Well, I'm not following a recipe. This I'm kind of winging it today, um, Sharon. I'm kind of winging it. I just felt like having something that reminded me of like a Quiznos taste. So, you know, it's not a solid recipe. After I upload this stream, uh, I guess I'll have to re-watch it to write a recipe for what I'm doing. But there's no recipe here. I'm just, I'm just cooking. I'm cooking with y'all. It's cooking with chat. I'm cooking with chat, having a ball.
I'll tell you, John Smith gave me some excellent cooking advice. He told me that there's no such thing as a, too much butter. When he told me that, I was like, oh, really? There's no such thing as too much butter? Really? Well, you just broke the chains. You broke the chains, Mr. Smith. Yes, he did. Because we will be using some butter in this. So, yeah, let's cut up this cheese real fast. Oh, so now Q45 is an expert in all things Alexandra. Wow. I think Q45 might be one of my biggest fans. <laughs> Y'all have heard the term um, frenemy, right? Maybe we should coin a new term today. Fanemy? Someone who claims to hate you, but they're like your fan secretly. Would that be a fan of me? I love being a little cow. I thought we already made that clear with the Mrs. Parker interview. Or Ms. Parker. I have to remember Ms. Parker interview. And um, just yesterday, the Outcast Owls interview. You don't see me flinch when you call me a lol cow. I wear that with pride, baby. I wear a lot of things with pride. The term porn star, sex worker, X. It's been over a decade. Lol cow. Angry black woman. What other terms can you bestow upon me? What other labels? Huh? Bitch. Cut. What else? On the spectrum. There's a lot of words, a lot of labels. All right, so I want you all to take a look at our little mixture for our sandwich today. Isn't that pretty? We haven't even cooked it yet. It's kind of pretty, isn't it? All right, so let's clean it up a little bit. And then we're going to go over to the stove. <laughs> oh, you think I'm buff? Oh, I love you. No, I got to lose a little bit more weight. I still got to lose some weight in the middle. I've been lazy and I've been eating some delicious food because I've been cooking. Man. <laughs> I have nice arms, though. Because I didn't have much body fat to begin with to gain. So, you know, it, it is what it is. But I'm tall, too. I'm close to five foot seven. Those of you who don't know, I'm not a short little tiny thing. Not at all. I'm close to five seven. I'm a substantial woman. Well, he's not a wimp. Um, fitness Frank. He's a weirdo. He said he has like 517 all. Imagine how long that would take, even if you have like some sort of a subroutine that you've created on your computer to create all these YouTube alts, you'd still have to sit there, you know, to click through certain gateways. That would take days. 
maybe weeks. That's some dedication, but it's like, think about all the other things you could dedicate time to. That's crazy. Do you have a YouTube channel, Fitness Frank? If you do, send it over to Alexandra Mayers at yahoo.com and I'll throw you up over on uh, IRL News Time, okay? All right, so what are we going to do now? We are going to go over to the stove, but I'm not in a rush because I've had some wine now and I'm feeling a little good, a little sexy, listening to some new retro wave music. Everyone, please get into new retro wave music, especially Ollie Wilde. Ollie Wilde is one of my favorite new retro wave artists right now. He did some beautiful songs with, um, I don't know if you want to call it a band or a DJ or what, but the album is uh, called Atlas by FM84. Love it. Actually, you know what? Let's put on some Ollie Wilde right now. I think it'll be okay with this stream. I'm going to play the song Juliet. I've played it before, but it's such a beautiful song. I do want you guys to hear it because I feel like dancing. Because I have a little wine in my system. I got to work later tonight. Gonna log in, but working from home, it's all right. Yeah, why not? I don't know if you guys can hear it. Uh, got some olive oil that we're going to be putting in the pan. <laughs> Ollie Wild, everyone make sure that you follow him on Twitter. Check out his music. He has like the most beautiful voice. Reminds me of Richard Marks, actually. The best today even though it's new retro wave. Yeah. 
All right. So we got a pan. I guess we'll put it on the big burner. There we go. We're gonna get that pan nice and hot. Nice and hot. Like a really hot guy that you always had a crush on, that you've always wanted to go on a date with, and it finally happens. He picks you up in his hot car. Maybe it's a, uh, I don't know, Dodge Charger. And you're heading out to maybe, I don't know, where would you go? Hollywood Observatory. I actually had that happen. Okay, so here we go. I'm being silly. Hot. We're going to start by putting some olive oil. Olive oil is what makes everything in the world delicious. The Italians, the Sicilians, the Greeks, they have it right. They have it right. When it comes to cooking. We're also going to put a bunch of butter in here. Not too much. So. Uh, yeah. Isn't this cool? Now I can be over here, you guys can see me, and I can pick up the same time. And I can use my new little red spatula to get this going. And we are going to slow cook it, because tonight we got nothing but time. I don't have a day or anything. Maybe you do, but I don't. All right, so we're just going to put this mixture that we chopped up so lovingly in here. All right. Thank you. 
here to turn that heat down just a bit. I have a, a solid medium, number five on the stove for those of you out there who might have a similar stove at home. And actually, we might lower that heat a bit more. I probably shouldn't have put the cheese in just yet when I think about it. <laughs> it was melting too quick. So I did make a mistake tonight. I shouldn't have put the cheese in when I did. I should have, I should have waited. But that's okay. We'll just have to keep it moving. All right. And we are going to go ahead and put some of the sauce in here now. And this is just, you know, garlic alfredo sauce for totally. Actually, we're going to like cook a little bit more. I'm very indecisive. I'm very indecisive. Okay. So we're not going to do that yet. We're going to vary the heat a little bit because we do want that chicken to cook. Because as I said, this is chicken from yesterday that I decided to half bake in preparation for today's sandwich, which is going to be a freaking awesome sandwich. Oh, it's going to be good. It smells so good already. Oh, it smells good. I mean, you can't go wrong with bacon, onion, jalapeno, <laughs> chicken. You just can't go wrong. It almost feels like a sin to eat it. Like, I'm smelling it. I feel like I already ate it because it smells so good. Randy has a meat eater, one who only eats fish, and a vegetarian. Oh, that's interesting. That is interesting. You have to do a lot of prep time, Randy. Wow. You care. You care to do all that. Someone says that their tongue just got hard. Oh, that sounds a little explicit, but I'll let it slide. <laughs> yes. Cooking itself is intimate. I mean, I would love to date a guy who's into cooking. Cooking is sexy. Eating, in a way, is kind of a sexual act, you know, not quite, but <laughs> a foodie's mentality is not too different from someone who may be like a nymphomaniac. All right, let's slow this. Let's turn the heat down just a bit because we are going to add in the sauce. I don't want to use too much, but I do want to add a lot. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right, so I, I'm just gonna put this on low heat right now. I just want a little bit of warmth in the pan to really bring out the flavors. And are we gonna add some seasonings? Add, 
Absolutely, of course. How are we, we going to make this and not add additional seasons? I mean, this is like going to be like an ultimate sandwich. Oh, it's going to be so good. Swipe this off. Let me change that music real quick because I really don't want to get any sort of copyright thing on the stream. I'm lying, but hopefully not. I mean, what's cool about FM84, that musical group, is that they do allow the bloggers to use their music and their stuff, which means a lot. As you know, bloggers and streamers always need good music. Mm. Okay, so we're going to add some um, garlic, some garlic powder. Actually, no, because we have garlic in there. Just some, a little bit of onion powder. Just a bit. Just a bit. And a little bit of, you know what? We're going to go with red pepper. I could add regular pepper, but I'd rather add red pepper. Because it's fine. I don't shy away from spices or something hot, like really hot. We're just going to fold that in there. What else? What else do I got over here? Um, 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 um. You know what? We're just going to put a pinch of salt. A pinch of salt or a dash, whatever you want to call it. A bit. A bit. We're just going to let this kind of sit on super low heat for a bit. show off um, a new cooking utensil I have. Look at this. It's tongs and they look like, look like a little hand. And it's tongs. It was only um, $2.99 at Walmart. That's <laughs> trick. Okay, we're cooking. And thank you, everybody, who's hanging out today. I especially want to thank Randy. I want to thank Miss Cream Cheese, because you know I love you. Thank you, Miss Watson, Sharon. Who else is in here that I know? Um, the Fitness Crank person, thank you for coming in. I guess Q45 gave us a little entertainment tonight. You know, I'm not going to thank Q45, but, you know, they were here. They were here. All right, so we're just letting this cook a bit more. 
Yes, we are. We all set it on the floor. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be good. Pull up my leggings. Pull them up. I'll show you all the flat bread I'm going to make this sandwich on. Heat it up a little bit on the pan before I put the filling. And I guess I'm going to have extra filling for this sandwich for another day. Because I'm not going to eat it all now. Vary the heat. Why? I don't know. I just do. But I actually want to. Um, I don't want to burn it, but I want to get it a little, you know, a little like not even crispy, but but just really where there's a little hardness to some of the ingredients, a little crispiness to some of the ingredients. And there will be, because that chicken that I added had some um, Italian breadcrumbs. It was encrusted in Italian breadcrumbs, because that's how I baked it last night. So this is just going to be, it's going to be so good. I wish I could share this with you guys. I really wish I could. In regards to Miss Cream Cheese modding for Attila, um, I met Miss Cream Cheese through Attila. I don't hate Attila. All I want for Attila is for Attila to be a little bit kinder to Jewel, to cut the crap when it comes to some of the racist rhetoric, and, you know, just be the best version of himself. He's brilliant. I don't hate on him. Get real. A lot of you guys in here, you don't know, you don't know me and you don't know what you're talking about. Catch up. I blog and video blog enough. If you don't know me by now, you're never gonna know me. <laughs> you're just not. And thank you, Tech Evan. All right, we're there, we're there. We got that little bit of overcooked factor that I was looking for. So we're gonna turn it down or actually turn it off. See the bottom layer is a little bit charred. Off the heat. Yes. You got it where you want it to be. Yes. 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 All right, so I guess what we'll do is, um, 
All right, so that's the filling for the sandwich. All right, that's the filling for the sandwich. But I do want to heat up these flatbreads a little bit. We're just going to do it on a pan right here. Because I do want the bread to have a little warmth to it, a little flavor to it, and what better way to put it in there. So we're almost done. Just want the bread to get some of that flavor. So maybe that much better. No, I'll be eating this. Um, I'll be eating this probably within the next twelve hours. <laughs> I can be a little pig. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Go ahead and um, just give me a moment. So we're about done. We are about done. Thank you to everyone who stuck around with me. 
What's the difference between bone broth and chicken broth? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question, Sharon. I think Randy is going to end up being the one who is the um, wealth of information when it comes to cooking. I can just kind of tell. I think Randy, Rand, Randy likely knows far more than I do because I'm an amateur and I have no problem admitting that. I'm just here cooking with you to chat. That's it. All right. So as I was showing you, I did put the um, flatbread briefly in the pan just to collect some of that flavor from this wonderful filling that we worked so diligently on. There we go. I'm going to show it to y'all, right? So now it's taste test time. Taste test time. Yes, it is. Let's see how it is. Oh, I hope it's good. I think it will be. Sharon, I wish I could give you some. I really do. I mean, I always overcook for myself because, you know, it's just me over here. So we're just going to do this. And it's going to be kind of like a burrito, I guess, you know, or a chalupa. Okay, so let's we'll see how it tastes, huh? Mmm! I knew it was going to be good. It's better than Quiznos. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. This is why I love cooking. Because you're busy, you're doing stuff, you're working, getting some energy out. But it's not for naught. You get your reward at the end. Mm. Mm -hmm. My favorite part about this is that garlic that I took the time to chop up. Mm. I'm going to go use the restroom. I will be right back. Actually, I'll take you with me. I'll take the chat with me. Why not? All right, I'm back. I'm back. Oh, that was so worth the effort. It just 
It was so worth it. So worth it. I wish I could share this with y'all so bad. I really do. So if you're at home, I hope you have something delicious to eat or drink. I really hope you do. I really appreciate those of you out there who stuck with me through this stream. And um, mm. cooking is so much fun. Mm. And Randy, you are not fully useless info. Everything that you've learned, everything, is of use at some freaking point in time. It just is. But yeah, feel free to offer me as many tips as possible, Randy. Seriously. Mm. I want you all to see. You can see that the butter and the olive oil is kind of accumulating at the bottom. But this was a good mixture. This was a very good mixture. I figured it would be good. Mm. All right, guys, ladies, women, especially. I'm going to get going. Thank you for watching Cooking with Chat. If you want to learn more about this stream, visit cookingwithchat.com. If you want to learn more about me, visit alexandramayers.com. See you on the flip side. Love you.